wall, wall, wall with your boy praying and Rose. We are back with another video, man. And today, but listen, listen, calm down, my guy. Calm down. Look, I ain't gonna lie. Somebody told me that this is what y'all be doing with my video. <laughs> what y'all be seeing my videos, bro. Is that true? Let me find out, bro. But first thing first, bro, I need you to shoot that key blast at that like button, bro. Turn that like button to a Super Saiyan Blue and make sure you go grab your scouter, my God. Make sure you watch this full video beginning to the end and do not be a side character, a low-class warrior. We don't accept that over here, you feel me, bro? So make sure you subscribe to the channel, bro. We're on a roll for 40,000 subscribers, bro. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. But I ain't gonna keep you for too long because we got a lot of stuff to go over. So let's go get to this video, bro. So listen, y'all, if y'all don't know, bro, Xenoverse 2 just got a big announcement. Two new characters is coming to the game. Base form Gogeta, which he can transform into Super Saiyan Gogeta, and full power Jiren, my God. Those are the two main characters that is coming for this DLC, and everybody's getting hype. Everybody doing backflips and instant transmissions and all of that, my God. I feel like, bro, they are focusing on the wrong things, my God. Let's just be honest, bro. <laughs> they are focusing on the wrong things. Thanks. Now, first thing first, bro, I know everybody in the world can vouch with me on this, my guy. Everybody will want to cross platform, cross play with Xenoverse 2. You get to play PS4 and Xbox or Xbox Series X and PS5 together, my guy. That will, bro, that will bring Xenoverse back to life, bro. Adding new characters and stuff, bro. Everybody used them characters for like one or two days, and after that, nobody plays with them no more. You do your little PQ quest, and that's it, bro. They need to add updates. They need to get it, bro. They get it going crazy, bro. If you're really trying to keep this game alive, bro, you got to do certain stuff like that. There's never been a Dragon Ball Z game that did cross-platform ever i feel like fighters was even blow up if they do that you get what i'm saying bro there's so many different things that you can do that make this game come back to life but now listen now listen i know a lot of y'all be playing on stream a lot of y'all be like yo what system you on bro it'll be perfect i'll be like yo it doesn't matter just join up you get what i'm saying but they just always focusing on the wrong thing in dragon ball z games bro they need to drop a cross-platform update something that all community could play together because you know look i'm an xbox baby until i die i don't care i like ps better right now i ain't gonna lie but i'm an xbox baby until i die my god that's what system i played on back in the day i used to play on there bro and after that you know the ps people start talking crazy i couldn't even fight them you get what i'm saying now there was a talk back in the day that um cross platform on xenoverse was a big topic everybody was asking for it and different things and i think when fortnite did it bro that was a big topic in a lot of games but it's way too long it's too late a little bit first of all if they drop that update i feel like half of the people will come back easily i know i would you feel me? I'll host tournaments and do different things so everybody can play together. You don't have to pick a side and see what you got to do. You get what I'm saying, bro? Like I said, man, if you ain't going to drop a new Dragon Ball Z game, if you ain't going to do like Raging Blast 3 or Xenoverse 3 and doing different stuff like that, bro, you really try to keep this game alive. You focusing on the wrong things, bro. You giving us characters. Like, who cares? It's base form Gogeta. Who cares, bro? You get what I'm saying, bro? We already got Super Saiyan Blue. We got the regular Gogeta. Who, who needs base form for it? So, like, you focusing on the wrong things, bro. You paying. I, bro, I would pay for a cross-platform update. Like, I would literally pay for that. It should be free, but I would literally pay for something like that than buying two characters I'm not even going to use. You get what I'm saying? So, I just feel like Bandai's focusing on the wrong things. I don't think they really got no games that are cross-platform. I don't know why they don't do it. I don't know if it's like a agreement or a contract they can't do or something like that but i can't even think of a game that has cross-platform please let me know in the comment section below like jump force don't have it fighters don't have it xenoverse don't have it the other anime games i think one piece and stuff none of them have cross-platform why i feel like they'll make anime games so much bigger if they do something like that now like i said if you got a new game you've been working on you plan to do that on a new game don't bring it into xenoverse 2 because i'm not gonna play it you get what i'm saying but if you don't got nothing new coming out you need to make the right updates for this game, bro. So this more video was more as a discussion video just to let y'all know, like, you know, what my head is at, what y'all thinking, bro. So would you like a cross-platform in Xenoverse 2 or would you just rather keep getting weird characters every five months or something like that so let me know in the comment section below man this wasn't a too long video i just want to go ahead and get that off my chest so make sure you like comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'm out bro i'm out